Hi, good day to all. So I am Divya Prabha. So I am going to present about a topic: what a thriving workplace. Focus on generational differences. So you people are aware that now the industry is booming with lot of new generation. So why the thriving is very important in workplaces like. we will be having different generational uh, into the workplaces say like the baby boomers gen x gen y gen z uh, possibly in near future we will have gen a also into the workplace so we want to analyze the personality differences between these generations to cope up all the generations in a workplace where we can thrive them to a uh, to a node of very happy uh, environment so the agenda of the uh, presentation is like i will take you through some kind of introduction and then i will take you through the purpose of my study and then findings of the study and then the conclusion the first part so why generational and diversity that, that is a generational diversity is very important at workplace right now so as you are all aware that generation is a very nowadays the diverse workplace is a very biggest root of success so we will be having lot of wide range of generation that will be a paving way for the strength of the organization and also as generation z is the newcomers who are started to fill up the youngest portion of the working population the employees are beginning to wonder how they can take into consideration the age gaps and then the ranges they develop in their organization say like the age gap between the baby boomers gen x gen y gen z and in near future as i said gen a knowing how to utilize the assets of different generations of workers that brings an entirely new dimensions to the teamwork coaching mentorship and hiring so putting the right people in the right position for success is one of the most important aspects in creating an efficient and happy workforce a good range of generation in an organization will definitely lead you to a successful organization so let us now see the difference between gen x gen y gen z among the five generational diversity i have taken up only the three uh, major uh, generations which are contributing lot into the industry working population so among that gen x are termed as the uh, uh, early uh, born early mid 1960 to early 1980 so what are the characteristics of gen x so gen x are generally service oriented they are very social they are driven to success and they communicate in person say like in a team they communicate in person to person and they are they have a kind of uh, mentality of workaholic and they are a good team player gen y are the people who are born between the 1980 to late 1990s so the characteristics of gen y are adaptable they are very independent they are very creative they have a direct communication rather than a in person communication they communicate everything directly and then they have a work life balance but gen x are a lot into a workaholic mode but gen y is a kind of personality who likes the work life balances and then they are more self reliant and gen z are the people who are born between the early 2000s and on so they are a people who like multitasking say uh, say like they juggle with a lot of activities at a stretch they are they are tenacious they like digital communication rather than a in person uh, meeting or a direct communication they love digital communication say like in a chat hey hi this is how i feel or through a email so they like the digital communication and they are so dedicated to the work they do and they are goal oriented that might be the organization goal or their personal goal whatever might be they are more specific to the goal and then they desire to do it all since they have a attitude towards multitasking they always desire to lot of activities so this is the characteristics of gen z gen x and gen y now we going to see the differences these are all the literature definitions of the characteristics of the generations but based uh, from our study we could see a kind of uh, predictions which are contradictory to the characteristics that is the lit literature characteristics now we going to see what problems stem from generational diversity in the workplace say like uh, we will be having all the three generations put together in a workplace where we may have say like uh, a lot of uh, 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 a kind of uh, gaps to be bridged 
say the expectation between the generations are different the way to be treated is different and then the environment the workplace culture the policies and then the challenges and then the uh, say like the knowledge and then the growth career growth the goal so everything is challenging for the organization as a organization they have to take a keen interest on all the generations to come up as a successful organization or to to roll out any strategy or to roll out any kind of success in an organization definitely they have to concentrate and they have to accommodate all the generationals within the organization say like if they are more oriented towards gen z then obviously they may lose the gen x and gen y gen y we can also call as millennials so they may they may have lot of dropouts in the gen x and gen y category so the organization is having a lot of tough situation to bridge the gap between the characteristics in order to make them comfortable in order to make all the generations comfortable in a workplace so now let's get into the purpose of the study so what is the study what is this study is all about is is like what are all the personality traits which pave way for the happiness at the workplace for these generations and how this happiness at workplace factors triggers the job performance this is what all about my study so the purpose of study is to in uh, to i mean to measure the happiness at workplace through the characteristics of gen z gen x and gen y and then how this happiness is going to pave way for the job performance increase job performance so this is the main purpose of the study so this is what i have just put into words like this study explores the relationship between personality and workplace happiness and aims to discover whether dif differing generations have different personal preferences and workplace fulfillment which impacts the job performance so now the research design the research design as i uh, explained earlier it is a kind of quantitative study where we did a cross sectional set of data collection over 360 subjects include i mean the 360 subjects are from diverse industries like banking it manufacturing and service industry and what is the practical implication implication of this study is like the research recommends that manager should focus on individual differences rather than relying on in generational stereotypes which are less common than the existing literature suggests so that is what i mentioned earlier that we have lot of characteristics quoted from the literature reviews of lot of papers but the reality is not like that so we always take the stereotyping based on the real i mean literature reviews and then we pay way on that basis but it is not the case so we have to focus on the individual differences rather than the generational stereotypes which we get from the literature insights now let's get into the big five personality because this is the main primary factor on which we will be assessing the happiness at workplace among different generations so we have five personality traits one is the consciousness extraversion agreeableness uh, neurotism and openness so as you all aware what is consciousness means and other uh, four personality means let me just put that in a nutshell consciousness is tendency to be organized and dependable extraversion is tendency to seek the company of others and talk agreeableness is the measure of one's trusting and helpful nature neurotism is uh predisposition of psychological stress and openness is the degree of intellectual curiosity creativity and a preference for novelty now let's jump into the research findings so as i told you earlier we have three major factors which think study one is the big five personality the second one is the happiness at workplace the third one is the outcome variable which is the job performance here happiness at workplace is a mediating variable let's just uh, uh, first let's uh, see the personality traits among the five personality traits we had a research finding that gen z in among gen z extraversion is more significant and it is positive influential variable for uh, i mean uh, when compared to gen x and gen y openness is more significant among gen y than gen x and gen z and it is the second most positive influential variable for the happiness at workplace this extraversion is the first positive influential variable that in that uh, emphasizes the happiness at workplace among gen z 
in a more uh, voluminized manner than gen Z, uh, x and gen y next comes the openness here the openness is more significant among the gen y than gen x and z which contributes to the ha happiness at workplace and then comes the emotional stability the emotional stability is having no significance among the generation the meaning is like gen z gen y gen z all stand in a same point there is no significance among the uh, generations with respect to the emotional stability and then we will be seeing the negative influential variable say like agreeableness agreeableness is negatively impacting the happiness at workplace among the generation in which gen z has the highest significance than gen y and then gen x comes the last and we will be seeing the second most negative influential variable that is the consciousness the consciousness is more significant among the gen x than gen y and gen z now let's get into the impact of happiness at workplace to the job performance so our uh, intention is to find which personality contributes more to the happiness at workplace and in turn the happiness at workplace how it impacts the job performance so among the personality we came to a conclusion that extraversion is having the most significant uh, influence on the happiness at workplace then follows the openness emotional stability stays on a very single point line and agreeableness and consciousness are uh, showing some kind of negative influence towards the happiness at workplace now let's get into now let's get into the happiness at workplace influence of happiness at workplace towards the job in a uh, job performance now let's again take the extra version this particular personality is having a lot of i mean the more significance among gen z than gen x and gen y and when we take the openness it is more significant in gen y than gen z and gen x and emotional stability no significance among generations among all these three variables all these three are contributing positively to the performance though the emotional stability was staying in a, a straight line structure it is contributing in a greater manner for the job performance when we take the negative influential variable such as agreeableness and consciousness these two are negatively impacting the job performance so the relationship between the personality happiness and workplace and job performance all stays in a common uh, era say like uh, the positive influential variable for the personality to the happiness at workplace is again in turn impacts positively the job performance the negative influential variable for the happiness at workplace again in turn creates the negative impacts to the job performance so this is the research finding which we had through the study now let's get into the conclusion so as per our literature review uh the gen x gen y gen z when we compare all three generation let me take you to the slide number 2 so here you could see gen x is more a kind of social driven person gen y is more a kind of independent person gen z is more a goal oriented person this is one of the particular trait which we are taking in as, as an example which depicts the definition based on the literature review but when we see the conclusion or the research finding the extraversion people are more significant among the gen z that means gen z people are more social than the gen x and gen y uh, again when we compare the openness this is again in a turn which collates with the social uh, nature here again gen y is having lot of openness uh, when compared to the gen x and gen z but the literature is completely opposite stating that gen x is more socialized person than compared to the gen y and gen z this is what i told you earlier that the literature is contradicting the research findings that is we had a lot of stereotyping through the literature review or through more theoretical models but now the current situation or the current generational diversity has a lot of new research findings which which breaks the stereotypes which we have in our mind through a perceptional or through the theoretical models 
So let's get into the conclusion now. This research suggests that among three generation, it appears that emot emotional stability has a greater association with happiness at work and job performance than other personality traits because it is not having any differences between all the three generation. It stays in a very straight line structure or a straight line relationship. So, con uh, con uh, uh, so we have to give more importance to the emotional stability where we can hinder the happiness at workplace among all the three generations, which in turn increases the job performance. In addition to the emotional stability, openness to experience, uh, experience appear to be more significant in Gen X and Gen Y. That is the feeling of happiness at work is more significant for Gen X and Gen Y with regards to the openness to experience feeling and then the research suggests that gen z's feeling of happiness at work are highly dependent upon the extroversion compared to the other personality traits both generation x and y share a similar attitude towards the job performance and workplace happiness so gen x and gen y slowly come into a same plate where they have same attitude towards the job performance and happiness at workplace but gen z is completely a different generation set that is a new generation set where we have to give a lot of importance to uh, uh, make them enjoy the workplace which in turn automatically increases their job performance as a significant factor that impacts the job performance through happiness at work the preferences or orientation for engaging socially at work is particularly relevant to the younger generation workers so organization need to establish socialism in the workplace by rearranging the organization structure and environment to create a happy environment for the younger generation workers to perform better uh, the traditional organization or the organization which follow the traditional uh, structure or the culture will definitely fail to retain the Gen Z population. As you all are aware that now a lot of campus interview or a lot of campus people enter uh, into the Gen Z category. So they, they enter into the organization as a Gen Z category. So we have to keep in mind to establish a socialized workplace rather than a traditional hierarchical structural organization which will attract a lot of Gen Z people to uh, get into the organization and to pave way for the organization growth because Gen Z people are having different perspective. They are a multitasking people. They are goal oriented and they also do a lot of things with a creative mindset. So it is better it is good that organization should open eye for the socialized workplace that is they have to revamp the organizational structure and culture towards the socialism where it creates a very happy work environment for the younger generations so thank you